making me smile so much, my cheeks hurt. Okay. Another story. Um, when I was in, I was also in high school, because I wrote my first album when I was in high school. And, um, and uh, I had this girlfriend, and she it was the cutest thing in the world. But when she was little, like junior high, junior, no, probably grade school, I think, she got made fun of a lot because she had really big, curly Jewish hair, and she was like, my God, oh, my, just if she was here, I would just bite her face. I loved her. <laughs> um, just, but and she and she used to like <laughs> make fun of herself, and I hate which I hated, but but she had like really thick glasses and and like. The most awesome, I mean, now probably she's very popular for her hair, but then they made fun of her because kids are dicks. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know why they're allowed to have all the candy in amusement parks and the fun stuff. They don't deserve it. Because <laughs> um, they're mean. But they were mean to my wonderful friend. And the thing is, she looked a lot like that adorable little girl from the No Rain video. You remember that? Uh, Blind Melon's video for No Rain. Leave that alone. And recover. Um, <laughs> Learn that in acting. See, um, anyway, she looked a lot like the little girl, the little bee girl from that video. So when I heard that story, it broke my heart, and so I wrote her a song called Paper Bag. And it was inspired by that, by that, and, and by the No Rain video and that song, which I also loved. Um, now, ironically, like not even a year later, I met with the guys from Blind Melon, the guitar player and the bass player um, Christopher Thorne and Brad Smith, and they ended up producing my first album. So when I went in to meet with them, I was playing them a bunch of songs, and I really went for the serious stuff. I played all the serious stuff. Um, and I wasn't going to do paper bag because it was kind of silly and I didn't, you know, I, I thought they might think I was silly. And, but I couldn't not play it because it was inspired by their song. So I played it for them and they loved it and they were like, this has to go on the album. But it didn't have a bridge. So the way the bridge came about was that I was sitting in the studio recording one of the other songs and I was scanning through the liner notes of that, of that Blind Melon CD. And I was reading the lyrics to No Rain, and I saw this line that said, you know I gotta keep my cheeks dry today. And I was like, guys, there's a typo in this. <laughs> and, Brad, and Brad said, no there isn't. And I was like, yeah it is, isn't it? I gotta keep my cheating strategy. Mm. No, no, that's not it. So, so that became... <laughs> Turned my world upside down. <laughs> By the way, it was a, it was like a pour that shook a promen moment. You know that? Remember that? Pour some shook a promen. Is there one that just got mayo? Yeah, I can't remember it though. Well, anyway. Good luck. Anyway, so that became, that's why that's the bridge in my, in that song, and mentions the lyrics from No Rain. So, anyway, cool, another, and let's fucking play it. <laughs> 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 